Hello, Custom Creator here, Danny Lee, OGT, about to be joined by OGL, we're going to do a song for a fellow patron on the Charismatic Voice, RK, and I did this song earlier, not going to lie, and did not turn the system audio on, so all you can hear is the faint little bits in my ear, and let me tell you, I am very, very disappointed with that, um, all I told OGL is he's been sick, and I told him that if he wanted to react with me, at least to have one genuine first time here. This will be my second time hearing the song. <laughs> yeah, mental health is real, right? All right, let me go get OGL, and we'll get to it. Thank you for being here, by the way. Man. What's up? Let me pause. All right. We're back. Sorry, I grabbed the. I grabbed the wrong one. Hello, custom creator here. Uh, Danny Lee, OGT. I have got a request from a good friend of mine. Of course, from the charismatic voice. Um, we hang out on the Discord. We're both patrons there. Um, RK. And we did kind of a. Well, just kind of a joke video. Um, if you've ever seen the charismatic voice and if you've ever seen Elizabeth Jarrett's husband, Kirk, do kirk -a -Beth, where he kind of pretends to be Elizabeth. Well, I did a Kirk Lee OGT <laughs> with the Carpenters. And it was a, I had put a meme on about 8675309. And he shared, RK shared a song with me by the Carpenters. I forget what the number is. It isn't quite as sticky, <laughs> but the song was great. <laughs> so, I know, like, Paul McCartney wrote a, a, a song, Don't Let Me Down. I'm not sure if that's what this is. There, RK, I don't know. I'm not going to let somebody else tell me what this is. I'm going to listen first. And if we need more after that, then... Then we'll get it. I actually think that said John Lennon down there. But it was McCartney or Lennon one. Okay, one of the Beatles. Don't let me down. Wasn't Never right ever love me like she does. Oh, she does. Yes, she does. And if somebody loved me like she... If somebody loved me like she do... And if somebody loved me like she do me... She, oh, she do me. Yes, she does. Am I reading that wrong? <laughs> okay. I'm a grown man. Don't let me down. I'm in love for the first time. Don't you know it's going to last? It's a love that lasts forever. It's a love that had no past. Ooh, that is good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's good songwriting. And for the first time that she really... <laughs> And from the first time that she really done me, oh, she done me. Yes, she done me good. There wasn't no yes, but I guess no one ever really done me. <laughs> oh, she done me. She she done me good. All right, she done me good. You know, she was good for me. I, I love it. I love it. Let's um, let's go to the song. All right, so let's check it out. Um, I think Frazier and DeBalt, it's safe to say that is the band. Maybe singing a Paul McCartney song. Or a song Paul McCartney wrote. I don't remember who sung it. Let's check it out. Yeah. All right, let me... Uh... <laughs> All right. All right How's that up? The headphones on, and... We're going to check out Don't Let Me Down. We're going to laugh at him. By, I assume, Frazier and DeBolt. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's jamming, wheezing. Love the music. Love it. Anyway, so that's what happened. Yeah, We're gonna, the music was awesome. If I had, uh, it I let me it. down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I did have to ask, did Robert Plant write the lyrics to that? Well, I, I was kind of, um, I was kind of, um, you know, in the same boat, like, wow, man, those lyrics are, what? I'm and just going to shut up and we'll listen to it. Go ahead. What was you going to say? You uh, mentioned the uh, the Kirkley OGT thing. So you were pretending to be Kirk, pretending to be Elizabeth? You've never seen it? I have. But have you seen Tropic Thunder? Uh, the the really, Jr. really and weird Hulk Hogan movie? No. No, that you, that's, <laughs> that's not fair. There's just a line where a dude is, or uh, Barbara Downey Jr. says, I'm a dude disguised as a dude pretending to be another dude. So if anyone has seen, anyone out there, uh, have you seen Tropic Thunder? You understand the reference. Either way, gotcha. I thought it was. All right. No, you're good. You're good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm turning my damn TV off, but we'll get going. I will try to say the same thing I said the first time, but any thoughts yet? Well, is uh, <clears throat> I don't know what I was expecting, but that certainly wasn't it. Uh, there was a fiddle or a violin there that was uh, really, really cool sounding. It sounded like they were shredding on it, for lack of a better term, and some someone absolutely jamming on an electric, on an acoustic guitar, like they were picking the hell out of that thing. Um, it's like an accent over and over. Yeah. Same At way first, electric guitar does. The nee, 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 like they're just. Yeah. At first, I thought it might have been like, because it almost had a waltz feel. So I thought, okay, is it three, four? I suck at counting time signatures, but I can usually pick out three, four, and four, four. But it sounds like it's in four, four. It just has a very jaunty feel to it. So yeah, I'm, it's fascinating so far. I have no idea where it's going from here. Yeah, I am. Um... I couldn't dig up a lot of information on this. Uh, well, at this point, all I was saying was that the arrangements and stanzas of the music is odd, and I wasn't expecting that either. This is yeah. more of a psychedelic type feeling. The this one pull across the that's either a cello, a violin, or a fiddle. I think. Um, I think that's a violin. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a violin. Um, so yeah, well, um, yeah, they're doing some advanced stuff on that violin. It's like there's a lot of like you know, squawking and shrieking on it. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, it's just not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> almost like horror movie sound. That yes, yes, that's almost. A perfect description for it. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. No pun intended, Elizabeth. <laughs> You are for the best.
I hear a maybe a banjo, a six string, maybe a bass acoustic, but I don't think so. I think that's I think they're doing that maybe in drop D on a on a six string. And the the banjo, whatever that is accenting, is keeping perfect, perfect um rhythm with that. I mean it's not faster or slower, it's exactly just hammer on or hammer off it. I'm not sure where they started, but it's just a steady rhythm of accents and the placements of those bows and I think some are an own I'm not sure how you say violin, but I know one way you pull, one way you push. And it, it sounds really psychedelic really, to be honest. Yeah, almost feels like it doesn't have a time signature sometimes. Um, it, yeah, it's, it literally feels like a few people, like they're obviously really advanced musicians, but it's like all went into a room and just decided to start jamming. Um, I, The uh, banjo or whatnot, like you mentioned, it's panned into this right ear, and whoever that person is, like their wrist stamina is amazing. If there was no distortion doubt. on that, that would be a black metal riff. That's just, you know, uh, just relentless, uh, nonstop. It's, you don't hear that kind of playing on an acoustic very often. Um, so again, it's surprising. The violin sounds toward the end were sounding sort of like seagulls. I've heard people use a, a guitar to get that kind of sound. I think it's the first time I've heard a violin used this way. So I, I'm not familiar with this group, uh, Fraser and DeBolt. I'm guessing it's two people in a band. But yeah, there's obviously some serious uh, musical technique being demonstrated here. Um, I like that you said seagulls, because I say in the first reaction a couple minutes ago <laughs> that um sounded very organic, almost like nature, like different yes. yep. sounds you hear in nature. Mm-hmm. Like in a big, really a big jungle or woods, wherever. Yeah. All right, so let's back it up just a little and. Transition right there was Once again fucking <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That felt so damn good. Oh. Yeah, I, I dug that. When you've been listening to music as long as we have, it's you. What's most to get that right there? <laughs> you can tell what direction they're going to go, or like you can say, okay, well, there's these possibilities. Yeah, I had no idea what they were going to end up. And that was an awesome choice. So again, before was, before yeah. I redone it, I hit him up. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. No, I thought go ahead. Done. No, I am. Go I said, ahead. I know you don't feel very good, but I'm not going to hype the song up or put it down or tell you that. I'm just going to tell you that it will make you feel better <laughs> if you listen to the song. It's, um, it's definitely got the uh, brain neurons firing. Let's hear that transition in there and let's let the... Yeah. Uh, the vocals ring a little. Oh. Don't let me down. She does. 
She do me. complex is how I would describe this song. Uh, even like some of the uh, the rhythmic syncopation they've got going on and some of how like their harmonies will break apart into counter melodies and then they'll go back to harmonies. Just trying to sort of pick out individual voices. It's funny because when I first heard her voice, I was like, okay, there's some uh, some smokiness there, a bit of huskiness. It's, it's a... Did, it's did really it surprise you there was a girl? Uh, that, well, I see like the that? picture here of a dude and a girl, so I, I, I don't know. That, that I just, might be them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess, yeah. well, I guess that should hit me, obviously. but yeah, If it, it was just like a reason. picture of like a forest or something, then it may have surprised me. But because I saw something, like, oh, I wonder if that's them. So the possibility was in I my just head. thought maybe it was a love song and that's supposed to be the couple. Right. You know, I really wasn't. Yeah. <sighs> There's yeah. nothing about Fraser and DeBolt that sounds feminine to me. but That is true, yeah. Um, oh my god, man! They, their voices is so yeah, like you like, said, it's it's almost not a harmony. It's almost like they're singing separate vocal lines, but meeting up that occasionally converge. Yeah, I agree. Um, Arc Arc knows I love Tool very much, and I, that reminds me of the way they compose their music. You know, they'll do their own thing, and then they'll meet up in spots. But yeah, the, yeah uh, nothing like that. There's no harmony. I've never heard like that really. So the uh, lady impressed me initially, like right off the bat, because she started off low, had a really nice uh, sound in that register. Then she went up really high, uh, really consistent sound. The dude at first, I was like, I don't know which one is Fraser and which one's the bolt. But at first I was like, okay, he's got a very pleasant voice, but it's not particularly rangy, which is fine. And before I could even complete that thought, as if to show me the error of my ways, he then just sort of burst into this higher register that had all kinds of cut and all kinds of focus. So, uh, yeah, these two are ridiculously talented. And yeah, this is the song has got elements of uh of proggy of prog and psych, uh, psychedelic stuff while having sort of like a sonics that are um very rustic, you know, very natural. Just the acoustic guitars and the violins and stuff. It's a fascinating combination. I want to say everything, but I've heard more into it, so let's just I'm going to start it back in the beginning. Let's Feel it all the way up to that point yes, and go a little that. further. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you, sir. Mariachi. No, I think that's the sound you're referring to is either the acoustic guitar being strummed or the picking. So I'm say, here's the actual drums or percussion in this.
she does. Oh, she does, yeah. Yeah, she does. She does. And if somebody loved me like she do me. That is so damn good, man. Oh, my God. I actually wouldn't be surprised if this was, like, self-recorded or something, because there certainly isn't any studio trickery or uh, anything like that involved. It totally just sounds like, you know, a couple people in a room making music. And it sounds amazing, especially, like, when they just dropped everything out and their vocals were just uh, taking center stage. It, they both sounded so... So clear, so like you said, organic. Um, and it seems like they're uh, they're using the elements, the same elements that they started with, but they're just incorporating them in different ways, hiring them in different ways. I think the first when you heard the instruments in the beginning, before the vocals, for that mm -hmm. that shift, I think it was all played in half steps, and it's it, it was building tension, and they're all played in. Full steps are not in regular notes, and I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they're in the middle of a beautiful forest with an orchestra <laughs> playing and singing. It's so damn beautiful. I'm from North Carolina down here to Appalachian Mountain Chain. At the bottom of the Appalachian Mountain Chain is Louisiana and Mississippi, New Orleans. And these are the places where gospel, blues, country, rock and roll, lots of these things were born in that country. From B.B. King to Skinner to the Eagles to, to their un, their Allman Brothers. And this is something I thought I remember riding with my mom. I say in the first year, I'm going to call my mom and ask her about this, but she had never heard this. I was thinking like the <laughs> Ree Osmond or somebody sung this, or it was an old country song, but it, I, I know now that this is a Canadian folk song. Ah, okay. But, my God, could it be Southern blues or Southern rock or Sir Outlaw yeah. Country. This could be any damn thing it wants to be. This could be metal. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. That, well, like I mentioned I mean, before, that that, uh, that bit in the this beginning. This is harder than Slipknot Snuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, love the song. Just saying. But no, I I, I love that you mentioned uh, building tension because that's exactly what was what I was thinking. That bit in the beginning with the, uh, the really fast picking and on the acoustic and then the, the violin techniques. Like I was saying, okay, they're building up tension. Then they slowed everything down 
which I learned is called a retardando. Can I even say that anymore? Is that going to get us demonetized? Never go full retardando. Technique. Anyway, it just basically means when musically when you slow things down. And then they kicked, they did that amazing transition into the, uh, I guess, the first proper verse of the song. And like that really felt, uh, you know, like the tension had been released when it happened. Uh, just again, masterful composition. Uh, did did RK tell you when the song was uh, recorded? When it, you know, what, when it came from, basically? Um, if you want to look it up real quick, you can. Um, I, I say, oh, yeah, the, this song, the channel, will all be in the description. Please go give it. I noticed it barely has over a thousand likes or listeners, or views, maybe likes. And the channel doesn't have a hundred subscribers. So please, please go, go show them some love. This is uh, absolutely yeah, amazing. Love. I can understand and, that this may be a, a bit much to take in at first, but yeah, give give it a chance. It, it will it will sink some hooks in you. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say that their vocals are actually doing the, what the instruments are doing. His vocals are very smooth and soft, like like you're playing full notes. And her voice is more of a very fast vibrato. It, it's almost builds tension like a half step. Like I don't know how you'd put that in vocal terms. I'd have to ask Elizabeth. But um, yes. it's amazing how they are making it mesh and i think they did exactly opposite the instruments they started with the smooth melodic and now this part they just got into it is more chaotic and vocally so and they're adding instruments as they go if you'll just listen for her fast vibrato the way her voice is and is a you good oh jail yeah, I was just going to say, like most folk songs, when I hear that term, I think of something that's got a bit more of a repetitive structure. Uh, that's and then that's not meant to be uh, demeaning or anything, but it's like sort of designed to be like sung by groups of people, like around a fire or at a function or something. This is like really adventurous. Like it, it goes through different movements. It's uh, it's this is not uh, again. I don't know what the original folk song sounded like. This is a, it's a very labyrinthine composition, is what I'm saying. Just lots of twists and turns, lots of unexpected moments. Yeah, super cool. That's why I don't like labels and genres. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, folk song is more of a label than a genre, right? So, yeah. And there's some beautiful folk songs, but this is, this is just its own thing. Mm -hmm. Progressive <laughs> folk, maybe. <laughs> I'm funky a metal fan, folk. so I guess funky folk is what this is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It is funky too. Yeah, yeah, especially oh, yeah. the beginning part. Mm -hmm. All right. That well, this is let's try to hear her vibrato. <laughs> And from the first 
first time that she really done me <laughs> oh, I think I okay. may remember me asking about Sturgill Simpson that yell he was done. And I looked into it a little bit before I ever listened to this. And Sturgill said he got it from um, Scandinavian calls. Like um, they call their damn livestock. I don't know. Yes. But, yeah. Oh, I think I've heard Elizabeth reference it too. Um, or someone asked her about it. Mm-hmm. It's. You can hear people in the mountains do it all the time right here in Appalachia. That it sounds like, again, a country concert. And I don't mean country as a genre. I mean a country concert in the forest with an orchestra. It's There was harps in there. There was banjos. There was there was a cello at the end for sure. There was, I know the beginning was violins. Maybe a fiddle too. What is the difference in a fiddle and a violin, by the way? I really don't know. I, I it always looks like the same instrument to me. It seems it almost seems like it's more based on the uh, the format. Besides like the if price. it's in an or, <laughs> if it's an orchestra, it's usually referred to as a uh, a violin. I like all the times if it's being played like in country western music or something. It like was that, Charlie it's Daniels. Like Charlie yeah. Daniels. That got to be the reference to go to. Yeah. Probably the best fiddle player outside of an orchestra I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say, RK. I mean, you, this is this is amazing. Uh, yeah. And uh, like, yeah, guys, definitely check these guys out. Any additional ears, <laughs> they definitely deserve all of them. Because uh, again, this is Danny and I are both pretty chatty people, so we don't end up speechless very often. So, yeah, <laughs> it's probably to uh, come to closest. Um, I don't again, think any words could do that justice. Just, I mean, just yeah. out of the blue, hearing that, it, I, every day layer, music ceases to amaze me. Yeah. The interplay between the, uh, the violin and the guitar, the interplay between their vocals, like how their vo- vocals crisscross sometimes, because it seems like she can sing relatively low for a girl and he can sing pretty high for a dude. Um, the fact that the production really made it sound like they were right in a room with you, uh, you know, not singing in a this is remastered. Way. I know that much. Yeah. So this is a remastered uh-huh. from an older version. But also, she was in your left ear and he was in your wait a minute. She was in your right ear and he was in your left. The whole song. Okay. Except when they sang Sounded together, up. then it was in the back of your right. head. It yeah. was beautiful, beautifully done. So yeah, um, mental health is real, but this this song is really a great cure. Like how Jill says, medicine, music's your best, whatever your best medicine cabinet. I don't know what he says, best something best. like that. There, uh, I always say music is your best support group, but there is an there old thing that says music, music is your AA. can heal parts of your soul that medicine can't reach. Yeah, so I and trying. I felt that in my soul. That hell with the hair on my arms, it never stood up. That shit pierced my soul, man. And I love it. It's an amazing piece of music. God Thank you, RK. Music. This was another pleasure to uh, to hear. Yes, sir. I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed it. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll just leave they, it at that. That's, that's yeah, speechless. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, 100%. this is your first time here. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by, watching this wish with us. Now go to Fraser and the Bolts channel and give them some love. OGT, OGL, Audi. Yeah, Audi. Thank you.